in this video we are going to discuss about JAXTAT signaling pathway and JAXTAT signaling pathway is particularly very important in context of immunology now the name JAK stands for genus kinase and the genus is actually the Greek god of transmission and as these kinase this genus kinase is associated with a cell signal transduction pathway that is why it is called genus kinase kinase and STAT stands for signal transduction and transmission particle so uh, basically it is associated with signal transduction so here we see we have uh, cell surface receptors and our ligand comes and bind to uh, a particular receptor on ligand binding to one receptor help it to dimerize you can see it is dimerizing so basically it is one so it would be dimerized and after that dimerizing of the receptor uh, jack kinase get associated with the c terminal domain of the receptor and this jack kinase is not a uh, intrinsic tyrosine kinase jack uh, kinase is an extrinsic tyrosine kinase so it is normally not an uh, integral part of the cyto uh, cytosolic domain of this receptor so in the step three what happens jack gets associated with the cytoplasmic domain of the receptor and jack actually cross phosphorylates each other so one jack phosphorylates this jack and this jack would phosphorylate this jack after cross phosphorylating the activated jack would actually phosphorylate the tyrosine residues on the cytoplasmic c terminal domain of that receptor and uh, the phosphotyrosine residues denoted as P these are the docking site for stat molecules so stat molecules could bind to these regions and they could be dimerized and stat dimerization is a very important event now the dimerized stat can go and migrate to the nucleus as you can see this dimerized stat is getting inside the nucleus and inside the nucleus there is a particular stat binding region where stat can sit and it can transcribe its target gene now we would directly jump into the immunology and see how this jack stat signaling uh, is important in context of immunology so basically when we talk about T helper cells we have two type of T helper cells TH1 and TH2 the differentiation of T helper cell into these two uh, TH1 or TH2 uh, basically depends upon the jack stat signaling so when a macrophage so here we have a macrophage so when a macrophage is actually activating a, let's say a T helper cell so the macrophage would first interact with the T helper cell by its uh, class 2 MHC and the T helper cell would interact by its T cell receptor on the other hand side the main differentiation differentiation cues are given by the interleukins here I am representing two type of interleukin leukin and their signal the signal mediated by them so here what happens so here what happens interleukin 2 can bind to its receptor and interleukin 4 can also bind to the receptor when interleukin 2 binds to the receptor it's ultimately activate the stat 4 so upon ligand binding it activates stat 4 and stat 4 get into the nucleus and uh, actually transcribe a master regulator called t bit when t bit is the transcriptional target of stat 4 and it is transcribed now the th the t helper cell would be ultimately differentiated into th1 type of cell on the other hand side if il4 is bound to the receptor and stat 6 is activated then stat 6 would go into the nucleus and it would transcribe GATA3 and which is actually a master regulator for TH2 differentiation this is how uh, two different ligand can use two different stat to regulate different master regulators and transcribe different master regulators and help in the process of T cell differentiation uh, in this way jack stat signaling is very important in context of cell signaling hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you